What's the crack, lads? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a lot, a lot of packs and, and players to review today and to take a look at and do training guides. So we're going to be busy over the next couple of days. We've got all of these eFootball Pro tie-in packs. You basically have five of the players here in a limited draw box of 50. So you've got, you know, a really high chance, I suppose, of getting these guys. You've got 96 rated uh, Gavi, you've got Rashford, Coleman, all, in, all, every player here is either 95 or over, depending on how you train them up. So we will get into that as well. Um, you've also got Tigres and Pumas, and you've got the Worldwide Player of the Week as well. So this is what we're going to be focusing on. You get three spins at this, you get 11 players to choose from. Well, it's random, uh, but you have three chances of it. And then, of course, you have the free event as well. And I think that these are the three highlight players. Sometimes they have the players that aren't as good uh, at the front and center. But I think one-touch pass in Bappe, true pass in Anthony with the winger, with the stats that he has. And this guy in Kiso is a fantastic player as well. So we will get into it. We'll go through it fairly quick. For any newcomers, you know, watching, welcome along. And uh, these player of the weeks, basically, if we just take a look, even at the goalkeeper, they're on A rating all the time. And also, as well as that, they've got 90 team play side proficiency. Just to get that out of the way, I will be doing another beginner's guide video in that series of beginner's guide videos. So we will cover a lot of stuff that I usually go over in my live stream. And speaking of my live stream, I do have a big announcement today to make. So get into the chat and uh, yeah, hopefully we can have a bit of crack together. I'll be streaming a little bit later on today. So we will start with the goalkeeper. Now, obviously a big downside to these players is that their stats are set. Um, you know, which is good in one way, but bad in another, right? So you, you can kind of have that little bit of give and take with him. This guy is a goalkeeper I definitely don't recommend um, because he's only got 85 goalkeeper reflexes and he's not that tall. He also doesn't have any player skills apart from penalty saver, which you're never going to really rely on. Long throw is a big loss for him. We've also got Cabela. Um, or Kabea. this guy is a very very good player as well a lot of the players now are getting a bunch of player skills that probably you know they don't really need but this guy is a bit of a baller creative playmaker not the best play style um you know especially with that acceleration and speed speed not so much but the stamina if you are playing him on the right mid that stamina is a bit low for the way that the game uses midfielders you know if you're playing him as a winger yeah it's fine if you're playing him as an amf fine you don't need to spend as much stamina running around the pitch but even if you're not controlling him the ai uh will you know run around with him which will reduce his stamina so keep that in mind the rest of his stats to be fair lads are very average for an amf he doesn't have one touch pass. He does have double touch. But yeah, for an AMF, I don't think so. And as a, as a winger, he's not fast enough. And as a right or left midfielder, I mean, he does have um, he does have true true passing. And he also does have amazing run, which can be nice. But yeah, he's a bit of a miss for me as well, or a pass. We've also got Williams from Athletic Bilbao. This guy is a rocket. He's 90 speed, 90 acceleration, which is more than enough. But his tight possession lets him down. He is a tall player, so his tight possession does let him down. The fact that he doesn't have double touch or any of the, you know, the high class skills that you would possibly want. Um, you know, I would probably use him as more of a kind of an engine man on the right mid, kind of like a wing back. I know he doesn't have any defensive capabilities, but you know, if you do get him now, he is a whole player, so that makes you know me want to play him as an SS. But those passes, man. Um, passing stats and the rest of his stats are just not good enough in my opinion at this stage in the game obviously depending on how good your team is Pellegrini he's in a similar position he's just he's just so average man for a 94 rated player he is a whole player yeah but for a 94 rated player he's so average in the stats now he does have no look pass one touch pass true passing pinpoint crossing and early crosser so you could play him kind of in a different role kind of like lobbing the ball up he does have one wavering form as well which is big and, you know, unusually enough, he does have stamina and aggression and tackling. So he's a very kind of weird card. He's kind of more like a center mid card. Obviously, he can play there. But he's, in my opinion, yeah, I mean, these stats don't really cut it now, depending on the level of your of your squad. Look, if you're downloading the game today or, or yesterday um, and you have this guy in your squad, he's going to be an improvement, you know, more than not. But, you know, if you have built your squad even for a month, you're going to have better players than this. We also have Anthony as well, who's a 94 rated right midfielder. I actually think this is one of the best cards they've released of him. One touch pass, true passing, and he also has pinpoint crossing. Um, I mean, I've watched him enough this season. I don't know is he much of a pinpoint crosser, but he is a very, very good card in this. Anthony was one of those players that I had way back when, and he was an excellent card. Like, he was so, so good on the ball. 
Um, I actually think I'll probably try and spin for this guy. 90 dribble and 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 87 balance and 90 ball control, which is phenomenal. 75 low pass, 81 finishing, 83 curl. And with the player skills that he has, yeah, very, very, very good and strong card. We've also got Sanchez. We'll leave him back until last. We've got Sanchez up here as a right back. Again, he's got 87 aggression, which isn't too bad. As I said, lads, right, you have to look at the player skills and the role that you're going to be playing with these guys, right? He's an offensive full back, but he's got man marking, blocker, sliding tackle and fighting spirit. He also has pinpoint crossing and speeding bullet. And he has first time shot as well, if you want that, which doesn't really make a difference to this card. But you, can, you, you can't add any player skills to these cards. So these player of the weeks, they, are, they do lose a bit of their shine now, I think, because yes, they will be on A rating. And, you know, a lot of them do have unwavering form most weeks. But I think the fact that you can add different, you know, player skills to other cards compared to these, I do think that this guy just looks very average compared to it. Now, the blocker does save this card a little bit and the 87 aggression because that's where the game is kind of at defensively at the moment. But I definitely think that there are better wing backs or right backs there, especially that he can only play right back or left back. This guy is very exciting as well, a whole player. Now, this is a proper, proper whole player, right? Apart from the low pass, if you are playing him as an AMF, he does have 80 finishing and 80 curl, and he also has 84 dribble and 83 ball control and 90 acceleration with 85 balance. I like this, right? If you could have added a couple of more stats to this guy, I mean, if one touch pass was on this card, it would have been, I'd say, low-key one of the best AMF cards out there because of his low center of gravity and because of the rest of the player skills. And the fact that he has super sub. So what I'm going to be doing with this card if I get him is he is a whole player, which is the best play style. I'm going to be bringing him on with about, you know, 30 minutes to go, 25 minutes to go. Bringing him on in, in as an AMF. Sticking him up front, kind of like with Haaland in that kind of role. Get that super sub activated. Maybe have Kiesa, Haaland and this guy to come on as a three-way uh, substitution to come on and uh, just do a bit of damage. And I definitely think he's one to watch for the future as well. Nacho. Nacho Nacho, this guy is very, very strong as well. He's got interception, fighting spirit. He's down as a left back here, but he can play across the whole back line. Very, you know, kind of average defense stats for a left back. Um, I would say that his speed and acceleration probably let him down if you're used to playing with like faster fullbacks, but everything else is good in this card. Like he's a very, very solid left back. Um, apart from the fact that he doesn't have blocker, that's probably the big thing here. But these guys are a dime a dozen, lads. A lot of these cards are a dime a dozen. You know, the one thing that kind of stands out for me with this card is that he has got fairly good stamina and speed as well as aggression and defensive awareness for a left back that you're going to be usually playing as like in a, a defensive fullback rather than an offensive fullback. So that's just something. I mean, you can get standard players equally as good. And then we've got the two English league guys, um, Solanke, who's been absolutely tearing it up. And he has been beastly, but his stats, man, again, this is kind of something that I kind of have an issue with sometimes is that like, you know, there's no real point in releasing a player of the week card like this, in my opinion, unless the card is going to be like, you know, like super, super good. And I think that, you know, you take one look at this guy's stats, you would probably guess that this guy's stats are probably like an 85 overall, you know, 85 finishing, 81 offensive awareness and 77 acceleration. Um, and then you're saying, right, well, he's tall enough, 187, I can play him, you know, in the air. He does have heading as a player skill, and he does have first-time shot, but he doesn't have acrobatic finishing, and he also only has 78 heading with 79 jumping. So, you know, it's going to be hard for you to play him ahead of somebody else that you're used to scoring goals with, including Yan the man Collar, you know? He's not going to replace Collar. Watkins is kind of an exciting player as well. He's down as a goal poacher, and he's got 85 acceleration with 83 balance and 89 stamina. So, yeah, you could play this guy as a center forward and kind of play him in the Mbappe role. But the tight possession and dribbling and ball control do let this card down. Finishing is only 82 as well. So, again, you've got that same issue. Are you going to play with guys like this in the, in the box if you can use somebody else? Especially as we talk about Mbappe. Now, he does have one touch pass and long range shooting, which is nice. First time shot in aerial superiority. But I do think that, you know, unless you're going to be getting Mbappe, um, you know, you probably will find better standard versions of the card. And then speaking of Mbappe, he's back with another player of the week card. I mean, there's been so many player of the week cards of this guy, so many versions of him. This guy has got one touch pass, which is huge for this card. Now, I know you can buy the standard version of him and uh, other versions of him are kind of like better. But I do like this card if you are a newcomer and you haven't actually spun him before. Everything that you could possibly want, acrobatic finishing, double touch, chop turn. You also have first time shot, one touch pass. And of course, you do have chip shot control as well. So, I mean, if you do not have Romario, 
I genuinely think this is as close as you're going to get to Romario or any of the superstars like Eto or Romario or Romanegi or any of those guys. Absolutely insane card. Goal poacher. I would say that Rashford and Lautaro Martinez from the Inter and Manchester United Football Pro selection packs, um, they do kind of, yeah, they do kind of like run him close. But I mean, if you just look at his stats, you look at the way he plays, he is kind of like, I, I think Mbappe is probably the best player overall in the game because he's so easy to use. So yeah, that is it for the player of the week, lads. I will be back. We will have our free spins. We will be live streaming later. So hope to see you there. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip and I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tune in later for a bit of an announcement. Peace.